welcome to a new Let's Play Metroid Zero Mission. This um, this game was a request from Matthew PZC. Um, he wanted me to try um, beating this game 15% on hard. I'm going to do that, but first I gotta unlock hard mode first. So I decided um, to do two LPs of this thing. First one will be 100% on normal, and then the next one will be 15% hard. I've already attempted to do 15% hard on my own cartridge. Um, however, first time I did it, I thought I got 15%, but actually I got um, 18%. I got too many items. So yeah, this is probably one of the best Metroid games out there. Even, even if you include the Prime games. And it's actually my second favorite uh, Metroid game. My first being Super Metroid, my third being Metroid Prime 2. Okay, so let's go over here. And we pick up the Maru Mari, or Morph Ball. In Japan, I think it's called Maru Mari. That was easy. So yeah, this is a remake of the NES Metroid. I played I played the NES one first. It's pretty easy to get lost, but it's still I still liked it. And this has, you know, like I said before, this has to be one of the best um, Metroid games out there. And my beam just cannot go anywhere. And yeah, there's an item there, but we're not going to get it yet because I don't have what I need to get it. Now, these Chozo statues, they show you... These are the hint system in this game. They show you where the next item is, what, what you can get, and then they'll heal you. Now, this part, I, that, that feature I don't really like as much. However... What I really like about this game is that you can easily sequence break. So you, if you want to, you can go to Ridley first and then fight Kraid, or you could do, you could do just about whatever. You can even skip bosses. Well, actually, you can't skip Ridley and Kraid, but you can skip um, that one giant wasp creature that no one likes. But we're going 100% this, so. Also, um, while I'm on the subject of Metroid Zero Mission, I want to make a little shout out to Black Drake One for because he did an LP of Metroid Zero Mission as well. I don't recall if I've seen it myself, but considering that I've seen um, two of his Metroid LPs, I would suggest um, I would suggest watching his uh, Metroid Zero Mission LP as well. And I'm going to be watching his while I'm playing this well between games. And, yeah, shoulder buttons are going to be a little hard to, to do for me, but, got the long beam. So, yeah. Long beam is pretty much what it says. Yeah, I, s I need to get used to using the L and R setup on my keyboard. If anyone has a suggestion on how to set up um, the keyboard um, for um, for Game Boy Advance buttons, let me know. That way, it make things a lot easier in the future. We can't go to the right yet, but this is what we see. We see Craig and Ridley statues. So the game has just told us what. Um, where our primary objective is. Which is one thing that I want to, um, one thing that makes Super Metroid and Zero Mission similar to each other is how they show the primary objective. Whoa. Side hopper. And we 
go check out where our next item is. It looks like it's going to be the bombs. I really like how they put, um, how the Chozo music is based off, um, how it was, um, displayed in Prime. Oh. Okay, we're down here again. Now here's a way you can sequence break. You don't need the long beam to go through this door. You can, oh, well, wrong one. There we go. Otherwise, you can just use that way, but if you want to sequen sequence breaking away from the long beam, this is the way to go. And I did a sequence break where, um, where I never picked up the long beam in the entire game. That was a lot of fun. Let's see, we don't need to save yet. Okay, we're not going to pick up the bombs just yet. And we won't be able to fight whoever's causing that rumble. There we go. Missile tank. All right, we can't go there because that because um that wall is made of bendesium. No, I actually um I just said that because um that I'm used to seeing that name in Metroid Prime. All right. Whoa. Oops. Come on. Whoa. Ow, I keep getting hit by his fangs. It's a little slow in that thought. Maybe it... Hmm. Whoa, it's, it's leaving now. The ROM wasn't lagging. I don't know what was going on. Anyway, ah. Uh. Oh, come on. There we go. I can't wait till I get that power grip. Uh, we don't need to go there yet. I like how you just need one missile for that. Uh, in the old, um, in NES Metro, you need, in Super Metro, you need five missiles to blow those doors open. I found that to be a little extreme, and besides. In Super Metroid, there's a chance where you can, um, your game will be blocked if you lose all your miss if you, if you use up, um, even one of your missiles before opening the first missile door. Fire away! I think there's an expansion here. Yeah, there is. Um, it's on the map. Die! Oh! Forgive me if I don't know the names of most of these enemies. I still don't even know all the names of the Metroid 2 enemies, and I even have the instruction booklet for that. Ah! Another... Oops. Another missile tank. That's 
right. Got him. And we get charge beam. Whoa, whoops. Getting my jump in my, um... Yeah. There we go. You know, the funny thing is, that was the only time... I have tried to dodge that energy tank in 15% mode, and the only time I do manage to dodge is when I don't even try. Go figure. So not really need to go to the map room, but I just like going there anyway. There we go. And we are next to... Oh, we're next to another save point. Not going there yet. Okay, instead of those bland rooms where you have a bunch of those enemies, a long tunnel, and then another missile door, they actually give you a chance to demonstrate um, the new power up, which is the bomb this time. I want it. Ah, we don't need to heal. Let's see, is there a power up over here? Yes, there is. Oops, hang on. There we go. Now we got up to 20 missiles. Door's locked, and now we gotta figure out how to break it open. We have enemies present. Where are they? Right here. These little bugs, they, they don't really do much. Um, unless you're in ball form, then they'll try to sap you of your health. They're weak to bombs. Ah, nuts. Alright, I'm just going to call it a video here. This is Animus01 signing out. Next time we meet, um, we'll figure out what the next time is. I think it's either Ice Beam or, or we go after the Power Grip. Anyway, see y'all next time.